So this question asked us to find the general solution y of x for the second order equation. And to do that, I want to start by finding the general solution for the homogeneous equation that matches this. And that's going to be y double prime plus 4y equals 0. And to find the general solution for that, I want to write the characteristic equation, which is going to be r squared plus 4, and I want to set that equal to 0 and find its roots. Those roots are going to be plus or minus 2i. So now I can write out yc. And that is going to be e to the real portion of this solution, which is 0, times x, times c1 cosine of the imaginary coefficient, so 2x, plus c2 sine of 2x. So now I have yc, and I want to find my particular solution. And I can look at the forcing function and see that that is going to be a linear combination of sine 3x and cosine 3x. So I'm going to use undetermined coefficients to find out exactly what that linear combination is. So I'm going to use a and b as coefficients, but those just represent any real number. Now I want to plug yp into the given system so that I can solve for specific values of a and b. And to do that, I want to find its second derivative so I can plug in. Let's start by finding the first derivative. which is negative 3a sine of 3x plus 3b cosine 3x. Now let's find the second derivative. Which is negative 9a cosine 3x minus 9b sine 3x. Now I want to plug this into the equation. I'm going to move over here. So I have y double prime plus 4y equals 2 cosine of 3x. So let me start by writing down y double prime. And I want to add 4y. I'm going to go and distribute that 4. So I'm going to have 4a cosine 3x plus 4b sine 3x. Okay, so now I just need to solve for a and b. I'm going to start by grouping the, the terms with cosine 3x together and the terms with sine 3x together. So for cosine, I have negative 9a plus 4a cosine of x. And then for sine, I have negative 9b plus 4b sine of 3x. Well, I don't have a sine term on the right side of my equation, so I know that this needs to be equal to 0, and if I add those together, I get negative 5b. That has to equal 0, so I know that b is going to equal 0. So that term drops out, and I have, this is negative 5a. Negative 5a cosine of 3x equals 2 cosine 3x.
I'm going to eliminate that cosine of 3x from both sides of the equation. Negative 5a equals 2, a equals 2 fifths. Excuse me, negative 2 fifths. Okay, so. I know that the general solution y of x is going to be yc plus yp. I'm going to copy over yc. And then for yp, I just get negative 2 fifths times cosine of 3x, and then I don't have a term for sine 3x. So this is my general solution y of x for some real coefficients c1 and c2.